Travel TV channel and this is Travel News. I am Kathy Robin, Sylvia and Dean. In our top stories, a new four-star hotel, La Falaise Bonapriso, has been launched in Douala by Prime Minister Chief Dr. Joseph Djongoti. Details of this highly animated ceremony in this newscast. <laughs> The newest of the three La Falaise hotels in Douala, La Falaise Bonapriso, has been inaugurated by Prime Minister, Head of Government, Chief Dr. Joseph Djongoti. The four-star hotel was launched this 23rd of April 2019 during a highly animated ceremony. Our reporter, Larinette Apaje Abongwa, was live at the ceremony and captured some good moments. We are at the official launching ceremony of uh, La Falaise uh, Bonapriso, third of its kind in Douala. Already existing was that of Bonanjo and Aqua. And we are here at Bonapriso where the official launching ceremony, the hotel itself, is being inaugurated by the Prime Minister Head of Government, uh, Dr. Joseph Dion Gute, and other members of government like the Minister of Tourism, Belobo Bamagari, and others that constitute the tourism sector. We know that hotel is a major assets when it comes to tourism and it's one of the issues one of the accommodation areas that host most of our tourists that trip into the uh, country uh, hotel la falaise was one of the hotels that were uh, were spotted to host the uh, visitors that were coming to the country for the 2019 african cup of nation that has been pushed to egypt but it's still a comforting situation because we know that cameroon will still be hosting the african cup of nations in 2021 and this hotel just behind me is going to serve as one of the the major assets uh, la falaise has been extending its brand we know that we also have la falaise hotel in uh, yaoundé and this one just inaugurated by the prime minister head of government is just an asset just an addition to the others uh, that exist uh, bonapriso la falaise bonapriso is located uh, two kilometers away from the center town and we are all hoping that this is going to give the best the best of what it offers to Cameroonians and others stripping in and going out of uh, of the country for travel tv news uh, larinetta paji abongwa reporting our reporters also interviewed an inhabitant in Bonapriso, Douala, to get his impressions on the new jewelry. Let's hear him. L'hôtel La Falaise, c'est l'un des hôtels de jour en jour ça grandit dans la ville de Douala parce que apparemment dans la ville de Douala on en trouve pratiquement, à ce que je sache, quatre hôtels. Oui, déjà à quoi? à Bonanjo et à Bonapriso. Et vraiment, je, je pense que cet hôtel qui vient à peine, qu vient à peine de, que le Premier ministre est en train de vouloir inaugurer aujourd'hui, je pense que c'est l'un des plus grands hôtels de la Falaise, à ce que je sache. Are you in the Douala 5 municipality still doubting which market to go to in order to buy your basic necessities? Our reporters went down to this market and sample the views of some customers and traders on the availability of commodities in these markets. Let's hear them. No on van comme ça en désordre et puis la quantité est bonne. Et les clients. Et les clients achètent normalement comme il faut. Si le paquet c'est 500, c'est 500. Si le paquet c'est 300, c'est 300. Donc ils n'ont pas à vérifier si c'est un kilo qui donne 300. C'est vrai que quand on va regarder, il n'y a pas beaucoup de différence. Hein. Il n'y a pas beaucoup de différence. Et vrai, c'est vrai aussi, il y a la qualité là-bas. Quand c'est étalé comme ça, avec les mouches et tout ça, là, bon, mais c'est à côté de chez moi et c'est plus facile. Bon, mon cher ami, j'aime faire le marché d'ici là parce qu'il y a souvent les choses qui sont moins chères. Et au supermarché, c'est cher. Quand tu trouves le prix, c'est le prix. C'est pour cela que nous, on fréquente le marché. C'est pour les gens. Déjà, le produit est de bonne qualité parce que ce sont les ports naturels. Ce ne sont pas les importés. Par rapport au supermarché où on importe des ports, donc c'est plus de congelé au supermarché. Alors que là, c'est le bon frère. C'est le, le port qu'on vient de tirer d'abattre là. C'est un peu ça. Si vous voulez vous enjoy et vous relaxer ce week-end, La Nuit de l'Ambiance will be coming your way 
on Friday, the 26th of April 2019, as from 9 p.m. at AC VIP nightclub behind Anten Koto Bonam Bonamusadi. Guest artists will include Afu Akom, Mustique Lo Charismatic, amongst others. The Republic of Congo and the Democratic Republic of Congo are the two countries in the Central Africa with rich landscapes, virgin forests, and swamps. These are amongst the touristic attractions that makes the two Congos a must-go area for tourists. Let's go and discover. The Republic of Congo is endowed with different endangered species of wildlife. They include chimpanzees, baboons, gorillas, elephants, all in the lowlands and mountains of the lush forest. 400 species of mammals, 1,000 species of birds and 700 species of fish can be found in the Republic of Congo. The historical tomb of the former president of the Democratic Republic of Congo, Laurent Désiré Kabila, is considered as one of the touristic attraction sites. Waterfalls include Seli Safari, Jungle Launch, Boyoma, Boyoma and the Zongo Falls. These are major touristic attractions that you can visit when you are either in the Republic of Congo or the Democratic Republic of Congo. This is what we packaged for you today.